Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. I do hope everyone is doing okay and today I am doing something quite different and I'm not too sure what you guys are going to think about this video but I've had this idea now for hmm literally since before Christmas like literally since before Christmas. So I bought this Bratz doll which isn't a Bratz doll. Um, it looks like one, kinda, not really, but anyway, let, let's tell you about it anyway. So this is a beautiful girl doll, okay? Now, can you guys see what's going on here? It's a rip-off, basically, of a Bratz doll, in a way, because it's clearly supposed to look like one, and the artwork is, um, the artwork is a little bit, <laughs> it's a bit suspect, isn't it? I mean, let's look close. Now, before you guys think I'm crazy for spending any money on a doll that looks like this, um, hear me out, okay? So, I have like a market in my like local shopping area and they sell dolls like fake Monster High, they sell fake um, Ever After High, fake Barbie, fake Bratz dolls. Now, my mum saw this and said, oh, I was going to get it for you and then I looked and thought, wait, it's fake. So I thought... But maybe it's like a good fake because sometimes you get good fake dolls and sometimes you get bad fake dolls. So I went and looked and I thought, mm, it's not, she's not the prettiest thing you could ever purchase or spend your money on. I'm not going to lie. But then I thought, you know what? Let me like do a comparison video to a real Bratz doll and a fake Bratz doll. Now, I know this isn't claiming to be Bratz in any way, shape or form because it doesn't have the Bratz logo or say Bratz anywhere on it. I'm not saying it's claiming to be Bratz, but what I'm saying is it's definitely took major inspiration from the Bratz dolls and the artwork is majorly similar to some like artworks that are out there now or have been out there. So basically, I'm doing a comparison and I'm also looking at the quality and the like, you know, just the all about condition and I don't know, just, just the doll itself. I was a bit intrigued and she was four pound. So it didn't cost me too much. Um, I didn't spend loads on her, like four pounds. And I thought, you know what? That yellow top's quite cute. The jacket's quite cute, the pants, you know, I thought, you know what? Maybe I could use the bits and bobs, if anything, like, you know, even if I don't want to keep her, like, but I can't throw her away, do you know what I mean? She's been, she's been in here now for a while, so I can't throw her away, but, you know, so it's a little bit of a different video, but if you want to see my comparison, then stick around, guys. Okay, so I'm going to talk all about the packaging, and this is the brand, I believe, who make it, and I'm not going to say it because I can't really read that. It's a K and an I and an M and a backward C, so... I'm not sure how you say that. And then it says, fine making and high quality. Okay, now we are gonna really see that when I open her, like, she feels quite heavy, not like really light. So maybe she's okay um, in quality. And then it says, create tons of fashion designs. Now I'm assuming there was more dolls than this one doll. Um, because there's only one outfit there, girl, one pair of shoes, so I'm not seeing, like, tons of outfit changes or anything like that. And then, um, that dog that's barking right now always barks when I'm filming. Oh my god. Ignore it, guys. Okay. So then here it says, beautiful girl, and then this, like, really copycat artwork. Let's be real. And then on the side it says, fine making and high quality air the artwork again and then this very much reminds me of rock angels like the theme of rock angels ever so slightly and then it says the make again and then beautiful girl and then every girl has the strength to do something amazing anything is possible as long as you stay true to yourself and never give up on your dreams now that is quite cute not gonna lie that's quite cute and then this artwork looks extremely similar to chloe and this looks like a dana or something. They do look a little bit boss-eyed, these artworks. Can we look? Can we look? I mean, not not the best, not the best, but you know. And then it has like a little barcode and all the boring stuff and it says, create tons of fashion designs. And then here it says, dun 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 dun, colours may vary, choking hazard made in China. 
And then more artwork and the same old story on top. It says, dun 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 dun. it says particular, particular design, collection were there. Three years and plus. So that's the packaging. And then, um, yeah, I'm gonna open it and then get a doll that's an actual Bratz doll and compare them in like quality. So yeah. Straight away, she has feet. She doesn't have pegs. She has feet and they look really fucking weird. Really weird. Um, and she looks super easy to open. Like it's got weird glue on it. Like, <laughs> I'm a bit spooked. Literally this doll comes straight out. Like, is that, is that normal? I mean, she's so poorly packaged. It's, it's a joke. So, I mean, what am I expecting here for four pounds? Really, what am I expecting? But still, I'm like actually lost for words in a really bad way. This is the worst doll I have ever held in my hands. Honestly, I truly mean that. Like, it's the worst quality doll I've ever felt. The hair feels like straw. It feels dry as a bone. It feels cheap. Look at that. I mean, mm, no, I don't like it. And then look at the feet. Look at the leg. Whoa. Whoa. Why so thin? Why so thin? I'm, I'm, I'm a bit disgusted. Like, I'm a bit like, I'm a bit, I don't, I don't know what to say. I actually don't know what to say about it. Like, seriously. Okay, let's be fair and let's still like review her. So here she is. Her face is very clearly supposed to look like a Bratz doll. It doesn't. I mean, she's a little bit wonky eye because one eye looks bigger than the other. Um, she has like even shaped lips though, to be fair. And then thin eyebrows, hardly any eye makeup. Actually, no eye makeup. She has an eyelid, but no eye makeup on it. Um, which is like, you know, interesting. And then she has holes where earrings are supposed to be, but no earrings came with her. Now she is wearing this orange, like strappy top, which I actually quite like, I am not gonna lie. And then this blue, white and purple, like furry jacket, not furry, like a, like a soft material, like fluffy. And then she's wearing some like dark jeans with a blue belt, which looks so cheap, so cheap. And this looks awful. But anyway, then she comes with these shoes. So these are pink and like trainer heels, in my opinion, with a bow on them. Now these slide on these feet like do they? Uh, what? Is that going? Okay. Are you, are you kidding me? Are you, are you kidding? Don't even stay on. Oh, uh, girl, no. I mean, what? Why? Why? <laughs> so, for some reason, the shoes don't even stay on, which makes no sense, even if she is like a cheaper doll. The shoes should still stay on the feet, shouldn't they? Am I wrong saying that? Like, isn't that a normal thing to happen? Like, really mind blown. Um, she has quite pretty, ha like, pretty hair in the sense of like, they've tried to do quite a nice style, if you know what I mean. Like, they put a little bit of effort into that at least. And the colour is quite nice. It's just the condition and the quality is, <gasps> got what? Oh my god, this is getting worse. It's getting worse, getting worse, getting worse. Okay. Oh my god. She's bald. <gasps> oh. She's frigging bald. <laughs> what? Why would you make something so b right? This doll has like zero wig. That that is appalling. Wow. Wow. Shit. 
That's bad. I'm, I'm, I, I can't believe that. Okay, now I'm going to do the comparison between the Cheap Doll and a Real Bratz Doll. Now I'm using the Funk and Glow 2nd Edition Chloe Doll. This one I haven't fixed up yet, so ignore her messy hair, please. Now, I am more annoyed than I was a minute ago because basically, right, here she is. I tried to take this, like, top off and it's, like, it's on her neck and it's stuck. It's not even, like velcro or anything it's stuck so i can't take it off and i wanted to use that top so a bit annoyed and then also she has glue there and it won't come off it's stuck now let's be real let's be real look at them side by side i mean the legs are disgusting the legs are disgusting they knock me sick like it worked they're weird. I can't, I can't even take them serious. They're disgusting. Now, mm. she's got mold on it. She's got mold on it. I'm done. Nah, I'm done with that rag. Nah, I'm done with that rag. Rag, 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 rag. Nah, I'm done. I think I'm done with that doll. Mmm. I feel sick to the core. I feel sick. I'm sorry, I am sorry, but that is so wrong. Like, they are selling that to kids on a market and it's full of mold. That doll has mold on her legs. Like, that is fucked up, like weird. And I gave that doll so many chances. I was gonna keep it and everything. Like, now it is going in the bin. Like, I am not keeping that. It is fucking disgusting. Like, it like mold, I am sorry. I will insert pictures in a moment, like, Okay, so after the video, I ended up looking at her properly really close, and I can't be 100% sure that it is mould, but in my opinion, it looks like it to me, and I asked my mum and my boyfriend, and they both said looks like mould, so do you know what? It's just a crap doll, and I was so disappointed. They're not like actual spores, I don't think. They're like in it, like mould, you know, like circles in the leg and stuff. Like, I am sorry. That is disgusting and, and, and I can't even deal with that. So she's going in the bin. I wouldn't even give that to like my nieces or anything because that is dangerous. So bad. I, I'm, I feel sick. Anyway, guys, that pretty much ends the video. I am completely creeped and freaked out by that doll. It's going straight in the bin. And um, it was the worst four pounds I have ever spent. My advice to anyone is buy real brat dolls. Don't buy fake ones. Well, you know what? There is some good fakes out there, so ignore what I just said. But when they look like that, don't do it. Don't don't do me. Don't be me. Like I was an idiot. I thought, you know what? I'll give it a chance. But no, I'm sorry. It's minging. So uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Give me a like, leave me a comment, and subscribe if you are new. And um, yeah, I'm gonna go and bin that, bleach my skin, and throw up. So yeah, thanks guys, bye.